hi everybody welcome to my channel okay now if you did not subscribe yet guys go ahead and do so that will help my channel tremendously what i'm doing right now i am about to disassemble the whole entire pack everything i'm going to merge them together i'm going to change the whole thing but you get you will get to see it in a different country okay folks you will get to see this in a different country okay so this is how it is you will get to see it in a different country i'm gonna merge okay i'm gonna take this pack that pack merge them together make them one what happening is this thing take a lot of space okay i have about 13 13 on the bottom 14 on the top i want me to merge them at 10 so i will have 20 of them together okay so i did test the bottom the, 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 i did i did i did do a capacity test on this it turned out to be five kilos i discharged it in five hours we had to use a lot of load on them but it did work so i have a video on that let's go check out that video guys okay the way i can the way i build this battery there was a video on that also but i'm going to do a quick view on it okay so i take it 30 36 they come as 36 volt i combine them into into 48 volts so what that is i take four and i cut one of the four in three pieces 12 volt each and i, I add it so the 36 volt giving 48 volts so i will have three batteries every four battery i got three batteries every four i got three battery every four i got three body okay that's how i did it now i put i put a i use those guys this one will be more likely those nuts i bought from walmart i use them they're capable of pushing about 50 50 amps but i this is a boss bar okay this is a boss bar which is a thick copper wire thick copper come with a body can do 100 amps so i have a bms can only pass 100 amps so therefore there's no 100 amps no more than 100 amps gonna go into this thing here i can take out of it this is a 10 gauge wire stranded i have a video on that guys so go check out the video show you how i did this together now now what i did what i did guys so now i'm gonna disassemble the battery why am i disassemble i'm shipping it overseas i put them together on a different form now i have about 13 on the bottom 14 on the top i'm gonna combine them to make it um to make it i believe uh 13 to 36 combined together <coughs> so i'm gonna do it so there's a whole new set of bodies gonna be gonna be gonna, be, gonna, be, gonna happen on those bodies guys I'm gonna merge them together, make it in one wall instead of two walls. So I'm gonna disassemble it. So I'm gonna I choose to make a video for you. You can see how I did it. First thing, I have this. Let me turn the light. I have this this thing here. Let me show you how it looks like on a BMS. Okay, there's two BMS in here. Let me get the first one. The second one is not coming on. I don't know why. Refresh okay let me get the first one the second one that's the one i'm going to disassemble first it's not working i don't know why okay guys now i'm i'm i look like i'm drawing 11 and 12 amp because i have these things running this thing's running guys on the inverter so This is, a, this is the second one. You see guys, this is the second one. So now I'm gonna disassemble it first. I'm gonna disconnect this thing, okay? And hopefully I have power because the other BMS was acting funny. Yep, the other BMS is not running. The other BMS is not running. You see what it does? I hate when it does this, when you disconnect the battery. Look like the other BMS is not running. This is an error. I got no lights, guys. 
Oh boy. So basically, I'm gonna disassemble the whole thing. Look like I have to disassemble down the top one. Switch this thing back on. It's gonna give me a problem. Yep, it does give you the problem. He's doing this. Oh boy. I gotta turn this thing off. This is not about this, guys. This is a different video. This thing is not discharging. Now I have to reset this. I have to reset this thing. And look at the second VMS is not working. Let me do this. This video is about taking take, take everything apart. Now I have no lights. Let me pause this, guys. Guys, yeah, this is a little heck of a half. I shut this one down. Yeah, I'm gonna disassemble it. Now you get to see a little bit of view of this thing here. Okay, so I believe this thing is malfunctioning, so I gotta find a way to fix it. Okay. Now the way to fix it is just unplug those wires and plug them back. Okay, give it a couple of seconds, couple of seconds and plug them back. Guys, <coughs> I have a lighting problem here. The BMS seems not to work, so it doesn't matter at this time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disassemble the battery. Right now, I'm gonna cut all the wires, remove all the wires one by one, because first I'm gonna remove the BMS. Yes, I'm gonna remove the BMS, get it out of there, unplug this thing, I don't need to use that. Then I'll feed this thing in the second second pack. I need to do my capacity test on the second pack, hopefully it works, I'm gonna do that. You're gonna, you guys gonna get to see it, that's why I told you guys, with me, we never know what you're gonna see because this is live. Because it's not really live, but I'm not gonna change the video. I'm not gonna edit the video. So what I what what I've been having here, I turn the light off because I'm thinking I want to take this this bottom part out of there first. But that's the first one I put in there. So for in order for me to do that, <coughs> I have to have the light on. But the second BMS stopped working, so it doesn't produce the light. So I'm gonna disassemble everything. Okay. So I'm gonna make this video short. I'm going to take all those four parts. The way I did it before, I started from the three one and go up, three more, two, and then I put, uh, I put, uh, I start from the back here, three, and I put those two there, and I merge them together. First, let me unscrew this thing, remove the BMS out of there, then I'll show you which, each wire where it goes to. Okay, guys, I unscrew this, I take the top off, I grab this, guys. Uh-oh, I can't do the same with one hand, guys. Because there's a lot of wires in here. Guys, I can't do it live. I, I don't want nothing to touch anything. Okay, BMS is out. Okay, I got the BMS out of there, guys. Okay. So, no wires connected. This thing disconnected. Now I got to take, start taking the wires off. First, I'm going to take the white wire, guys. I'm going to remove every single one of them. I don't need to keep them there. Uh, I can't save the wire. Because some of them is soldered. I can't save the wire. I'm just going to cut it one by one. All the way through. Let's remove all those things out of there. Okay. It's a lot of good work I have done. But I need to upgrade. I need to change this thing completely. So I got to ship this overseas. So in one of my videos you're going to see in the future, you're going to see all those things combined together in one shot. Pretty, pretty going to be beautiful. Okay, folks. Now I got the right tools to cut the wires. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and cut the cut one for you. And I got to pause the phone and go cut the rest of it. Okay. Uh, this is cut. Okay. I gotta cut every single one of them, get rid of them. Right now there's not much I can do. See, I cut this wire. I can't save the wires because they tied up together. So I gotta, I gotta cut every single one of them. I'm gonna take one branch and just un uh, untie this thing, guys. Okay, folks, this is, I finished this side. I started, I started this side already. So let me take one of the battery for you guys. I unscrew this already. I unscrew this already. I put the screw back together and this corner there. 
okay now this is liberated okay this battery this is stranded you see the nuts this thing here guys this thing can go out to 50 amps i have seen this thing burn completely a break it turned into a fuse if you go over 50 amps it just break okay so i'm gonna take one of them out for you i take the nuts already in here take that already off put them on the side here now i liberated one of the batteries okay okay this one's up that's the positive and this is the negative and i can take this out of there okay let me take the, take a couple out of there guys okay folks so i untied those things up okay this is copper copper this is the nut used to be in here it to be right here. Now that's for the back. They have different size. I have this thing here. Take this thing up. This is the whole battery. Okay, this is this is supposed to be half a kilowatt. Half a that's supposed to be 500 watts. Half a kilowatt. Okay, so as you can tell, I use nickel strip to tie those two together. Okay, this is negative uh, this is positive this this is negative this is positive so I gotta merge them together okay so I use one nickel strip and I use some glue to glue it okay this again it works it does the job I may undo this do it better <coughs> okay that's what the body looks like this is 36 this was 12 you merge them together that's become uh that's become a 48 volt so i used i used this for the bms guys the top of the battery you see those things here they come with it okay there was a, used to be a bms sitting on top of it which is 36 volt so i i put all the cell i measure all the cell together like this the way you have them like this the way you have them like that yeah and i get all the cells together like that okay so that's make it it works with the bms well, i'm going to take them apart and ship them to my home country where where i can use them together i got them found a way to merge them together and make it works i think it will okay so guys now you can see this thing being disassembled so i think the whole thing gonna be done today that's the beauty when you have this breaker. When you have this breaker, guys, it's very good. So you dis you disconnect it. It doesn't touch the, the system at all. The other one's still on. You can work on them. Okay, folks. Um, that be the end of this video. I'll show you. I remove all of them. This is removable too. I got some wires. There. I got to cut the wires. I got to uncut everything of them. We're gonna take a break, guys. Okay, folks. This is another one. I complete this part. I gotta remove it out of there. See, I use different kind of batteries. Oh, they're the same type. Okay, so if some of them become black, they got both black and both corners, both angles. Okay, this is the this part. You don't have to. I have a video on this. You guys should go and give you that video. Okay, this this is the tab that I use to put the BMS on. You see those there's about 16 of them but those in this corner you got to be careful on those you can't make sure they touch each other that's why i put a black tape on them they cannot touch each other this is the top it's about 16 of them <coughs> okay guys so this part is gone and uh, all the wires we remove all the wires removed guys so now what i'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna try to deplete the top, make sure the BMS is working. This is how it used to be. This is how it is now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with shit. I'm gonna take two bodies together and glue them together. And it's gonna do a lot of work. So I haven't come out how I'm gonna do it. So, but I'm gonna merge them together. So you're gonna have uh, two of them together in one spot. Okay, folks. So.
Now I don't have to show you the rest of it, but by the time you know, if you keep, if you subscribe, you watch my videos, uh, you will see some updates. I have a new set of body being put in here. Okay, why I'm I'm going through all the process? They are the cheapest body out there I can buy. Let under a thousand dollars for a killer for somewhere around fourteen kilos of bodies. Less than a thousand dollars. They wash it. It does a lot of work. You know, it does nothing. Nothing hard come easy, guys. So don't forget to subscribe. You have the channel if you did not subscribe yet. There's more video coming up. I'm, uh, I will not do a video on this. I'm gonna deplete this battery, the top one. You know, so that's why I said, guys, it's always good to have it. The battery is still functional, boy. You see, my BMS, <coughs> my Bluetooth is still working. I have some issue with the BMS in here, but it's still connected. Okay, so that's the end of this video, guys. I hope it's not it didn't take that long. You learn from it. So you see how I put this cell, that cell, that cell, that cell combined together in one pack, just like this. All of this, all of them glue together. You can monitor each cell like this. All of them together on the battery pack. I show you how I disassemble them. And I have a video showing you how I put them together. I'm gonna have a video to show you how I put both of them combined together. That's the plan, guys. That's the plan. Until then. See you next time, guys.